Okay, so today I will be talking about phase changes and how to change a solid to a liquid and a liquid to a gas. And so the first thing is is that how to change a solid into a liquid. And you see I have my molecules in a bowl right now and it's it's an ice molecule right now because it's a solid and as you can see they're all neatly packed together into a little square and so I can't show you now but these molecules are moving a little bit but very slightly and in order to turn a solid into a liquid uh, you need to heat these molecules up and as you heat it up more and more the molecules each individual molecules they'll start to move around more until they kind of just break out of their shell and they just start moving around way more and become more free and this process is called melting. Okay, now that I rearranged the molecules, you can see now that they don't really form a structure anymore. So now they're they're melted. And so now we need to know how to turn a liquid into a gas. And it's kind of similar, the same way you turn a solid into a liquid. You have to heat it up more and more until they're already moving around, but they'll start to move around so fast that once they start moving so fast that they kind of just they kind of just leap out, they pop out, and they go everywhere. They just go everywhere. And that process is called vaporization. So, vaporization is, changes in two different parts, or it has two different parts to it. One of the parts is evaporation, and the other part is boiling. It's two different ways for vaporization to occur. So the key difference is that vaporization is usually below the boiling point, and it is on surface. And boiling is at the boiling point or above the boiling point, and it's usually below the surface. Now, I will show you guys how to turn a gas back into a liquid. Sorry for the bad arrow. I can't draw. So, you see these, these water molecules are kind of just floating around everywhere. And they're really hot. So, the way to turn it back into a liquid is by taking the heat away. And as you take the heat away, and take it away, these molecules they start to lose energy. And when they lose energy, they kind of, they start forming back to where they were. And that's basically how they turn into water. They lose most of their energy. They don't fly out and they've cooled down. And this process is called condensation. So now, I'm going to show you how a liquid turns back into a solid. And so, the process is pretty similar to turning a gas into a liquid. So, it's already, it's cooled down a little bit. They're not moving, the molecules aren't moving around as much. But to be able to turn a liquid back into a solid, you have to take even more heat away and they'll lose even more energy, and they'll become even slower until they start to form into the structure that they used to be. 
and that process is called freezing. Now, after the process of freezing, this is what they should look like. The molecules should be nice and neat, forming a square, and that is all I have for today. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.